Supposed to be our check in, right? Yeah, that's what they said. Huh, I guess the door's open. Hello? We're here for the noon check in? Guess we make ourselves at home then. Definitely right about this being your dream home. They're amazing photographers. They work as photojournalists down in Mexico. I haven't been in one of these since college. Looks like the owners were in the middle of developing something. There's still a negative in here. Check this out.
missed you. I know. Wow, your hair got so long. Oh, look at you. You look great. Oh, please. You're glowing. Thank you. Okay, I've been on this juice cleanse this past month. Turmeric, oh. charcoal. It works. Baby, swing my balls up. Come on. Come in. Wow. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, yeah. baby. Hey, say hi to Sarah, my high school bestie. Huh? Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hey, to much, Joe. Victor, nice to meet you. Oh, I got you guys this. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Mm. Know each other? Hi, yeah. I'm good. 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 So, uh, bedrooms are this way? Hey. Oh, yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah. let me show you your room yeah, yeah. and drop off yeah. your bags. Yeah. Down here to the right. Yeah. It's Whoa. a little messy. I still don't understand why we couldn't just come here alone. Come on, you know why. I think it's really good for us to be around other people. Come here. Talk about the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah. So, what's the plan, Joey boy? We're gonna go and find some weird strip clubs or something? Strip clubs, really? Yeah, maybe the hiring. That's funny. How'd you guys find this place? Oh, um, just found it online. Kind of got lucky. We don't need to watch out for border hoppers? Jesus, babe. Kidding. It can have it anyway. Whole country's going to shit. All I know is I won't be sober when the world ends. I will drink to that. Hell yes. Thank you. All right. Cheers. 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 But what do you expect? Giving a junior developer admin access to a live database on his first day. Yeah, totally, man. <laughs> Carnage. Oh, babe, what the fuck? We gotta ration ourselves, huh? About the weekend, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can fucking vacuum this one. Oh. oh, sorry, man. You wanna hit? I'm, I'm good, man. Thank you, though. I'm fine. I appreciate it, though. It's all, it's all you. Ah, uh, okay. I get it. Totally get it. I used to be pussy whipped myself. <laughs> oh, no. You can't smoke in here. What? You're joking, right? Yeah. Hey. 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 What are you doing over here? What are you looking at? Looking at this book. Isn't this place so nice? Mm. I love it so much. I wish I never had to leave. Hey, enjoy the dream all of us. I guess. So how long have you guys been together? Mm. Well, oh, she's gonna say a year, but <laughs> I'd say like three, four months. Okay. Hey. Have you guys met, huh? I'm really sorry we haven't been in touch. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's okay. Life happens. I didn't know that stuff. Sooner or later, we all have to grow up, right? I know, but growing up doesn't mean we don't talk anymore. I should have reached out. I'm sorry. It's just been a really strange year for me. I know, babe. Like half an hour later, you gotta go. I don't know if you want to, you know, talk about it. I'm, I'm here for you. Thank you. I'm good. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to have fun and forget that the world exists for a bit. I can help you with that. I know. <laughs> That's why you're here. Yeah, we have <laughs> Oh my god. I love this album. Yes. Are you are you ready to dance? Uh -huh. Woo, you're gonna love Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Dance with me. Come on. Woo! Oh, 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 fancy. <laughs> Come on, girl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
show me. Die young and leave a pretty corpse. Way too many bad habits as it is. <laughs> Suit yourself. Oh well. Oh. <sighs> you get a good look? <gasps> so what are we gonna do about this little predicament of ours? We're gonna keep our mouth shut. So nothing happened, right? Nothing happened. I got way too drunk, stupidly hooked up with some girl I had no business being with. The end. The end. Wow. Wow. Enjoy the view. Turn out. Good. I'm pretty good. Wanna see? Yeah. Dark. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry if things got weird earlier. I mean, I know that they got weird. I'm just saying. What the 
fuck was that? Why would someone be here so late? Fuck if I know. I don't know. I can't see who it is. Well, that's why you open the door to see who it is. What? No, don't, don't answer the door. Babe, it's fine. Shh. You're not Melissa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was expecting Melissa. Is she home? No, no, she's not. Is Michael then? We're renting from them this weekend, so they're not here. Oh, I see, I see. Everything all right, Sarah? Who's that? That's my husband. Oh, Sarah, you're Sarah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sarah. I am so sorry for banging on your door this late at night, but I'm a neighbor, and my car broke down just down the road, and I just, I thought, oh, God, thank God. Melissa's place is right around the corner, so I popped by and I was wondering if I could just use the phone really quick. So my, my boy is at home with the babysitter, and at this point I'm like, I don't know, an hour late. I was trying to fix the car, of course, and I just, I'm pretty much desperate to get a hold of him. Here, I'm going to use my cell phone. Oh, there's no reception out here, unfortunately. <laughs> that does hurt. <laughs> Middle of nowhere, you know. I promise you I will be two seconds and then I will be out of your hair. Um, could you, let me, could you just hang on one second? Please, no, please, please. It's just, just, I would be okay. so fast. Uh, just, just one sec. It's the middle of the night. Is this really what you want me to do right now? Come on, man. You'd expect anyone to do the same thing for you. I don't expect anything from anyone. Ever. She obviously knows the owners of the house. She just needs to make a call. She has a broken down car with kids at Bullshit. home. Bullshit. You know what? Help somebody else out for once. You don't want her to come in? Why don't you go fix her car instead? I want us to go back five minutes, leave the fucking door closed. One call. Two seconds. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know... Finding truly kind people in this world today is like finding a, a diamond in a sea of glass. Mm. Phone's right back there. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Pardon me. Just wait. Okay. But if you're tired, you can go to bed. You don't have to stay up. No, it's cool. I'll hang with you. Come here. Hmm. Remember when we used to have sleepovers? <laughs> <laughs> My parents would hate it because you would just eat all of our food. <laughs> or you had the best snacks. Well, that is true. <laughs> wow, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't have to be here. If you don't want it, you can go in another room, too, you know. Thanks, but you don't have to tell me what to do. Mm, I'm not. Yeah, you clearly are. Be a bit of trouble in paradise? I apologize. I, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help but overhearing. You know, my husband and I, we used to go at it pretty regular, and it, it got ugly. But you know what got us through? It didn't matter what happened during the day, how much we fought. We always prayed together at night. You've got to cherish the good. A man hath no greater thing under the sun than to eat, to drink, and to be merry. But we're divorced now. I had to jump off that train, Doomsday Express. I learned the hard way. One cannot live in bad faith. But she is right, you know. You do have to communicate. How'd that call go? Perfect. I spoke to my boy, and the babysitter is tucking him in, so... How old is he? He just turned seven. He's my little baby girl. 
That's a fun age. It is. You know, you would love him. He is... He's something else. Why did you guys divorce? Mm. Well, sometimes you just can't stop what's coming. At the end of the day, he can lie to you and you can lie to him, but you can't lie to yourself. Goodness, you know, I was so relieved to hear his voice I completely forgot to call the tow truck. And here I am prattling on like God knows what. I I am sorry. <laughs> no. Please. It's late, 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 late. So I'll make that call and then I'll be out of here. No offense, but I'd rather stick my dick in a cactus than get marriage counseling from some fucking middle of the night drifter, okay? She's actually not that bad. She's kind of sweet. What? Yeah, it's Joe and Sarah who are being fucking weird. No shit. Babe, just come back out there so I'm not alone, okay? Mm, nah. I'm gonna smoke this and then go to bed. You know you're not going to sleep right now. Come on, let's have fun. Hmm. I promise I'll make it up to you. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna do that? Do that thing you like. All right. <laughs> Babe. But only because you're so cute. But Mary Poppins has got to go. Fine with me. Just promise me you won't do it like an asshole, okay? And all this time I thought that's why you liked me. Round up the party favors, because we're gonna need them with these two. <laughs> Come on, guys, while we're still breathing, please. I'm trying to have a party. Fucking woman in the house. Dude, relax. You're gonna have a heart attack. Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what to do. All right? She's almost done, okay? Well, she's got two minutes, and then I'm pulling the plug on this shit. Yep, just me and four of my lovely new friends. We'll be here. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello? I can't seem to get any reception. Is there something wrong with the phone? No, you're fine there. Do you mind if I try in another room? Yeah, sure. Try the studio. Wow. You really wear the pants in the relationship, huh? Knock that shit off, man. Ooh. <laughs> Tension in the air. Oh, Sarah, 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 Sarah. You know, Sarah, sometimes it's, it's good to let a guy be a guy. You know, have an opinion, speak for himself. Victor, shut up. All right, just saying, I'm here all night if you need some advice, okay? Beautiful, aren't Hi. they? Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> you know, some Native American people believe that taking a photograph can steal a soul, imprisoning it forever in this brew of celluloid and salt. Some tribes spend their whole lives avoiding being photographed. Have you seen any of their other works? No, I don't really have an eye for the sort of thing. Sarah's the artist. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in a house with this much beautiful art. <laughs> I thought you knew the owners. I do. Why? 
Wolf. <laughs> Wolf is right. Come here. Tonight kind of got away from us, huh? Yes, it did. Hey, um, I know I haven't been that easy to talk to. I'm working on it, okay? It's been hard for me, too, you know. I'm just trying to find a way for us to get through this. I'm trying to, too. I really, truly am. I just feel stuck. I feel like I can't... Like, it's not possible sometimes. Sir. But I know that it is, and I want this to work. Sir, okay. where's her car? What? Her broken down car is on the street. Where is it? I don't know. Maybe it got towed or something. No, I didn't see a tow truck show up. Did you hear what I just said? I... Let's go inside. Where is she? She's in the studio. Why? Her car's gone. What? Her car that's supposed to be broken down is gone. I knew it. She called for help. Maybe it came. Are you for real? No, I kind of... I think Joe's right. I was just talking to her about the art in the house, and... I mean, it was like she's never been here before. Then why do you say anything? What? Oh, wait, I remember. because you never use your fucking head. Hey, don't fucking yell at me. I didn't think it was a big deal. You did think it was a big deal. All right, you guys can live in your little fantasy land all you want, where everybody holds hands and helps each other, but that's not the world we live in. Bad things happen. Jesus, what is your problem? Oh, my problem? It's whose stupid idea was it to even open the fucking door to begin with? Hey, back the fuck off, man, all right? Yeah, or fucking what? We have them all the time up here. That's why we have backup generators. Where's your car? My, my car? It's outside. Is something wrong? All right. I'm sick of this. Lady, I don't know what scam you're running, but you need to get the fuck out of this house. Right now. Hello? Anyone there? It must be nice having such a big, strong man to protect you here at night, huh? <laughs> Maybe you're not hearing me. Get out, or I'm gonna drag you out by your little fucking skinny ankles. Do you understand? Oh, that's fine. Obviously, I have outstayed my welcome. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the Wicked Witch of the West, honey. I'm a neighbor. You don't have to be rude. I'll just go grab a glass of water and I'll be on my way. Jesus Christ. Call the police. Get out of our house, you know, I'm just standing. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of our house. Get your straight out of our house. What the fuck's wrong with me? What the fuck's wrong with you? Wait, I can't get out of the house. Hey! You need to get the fuck out of our house. Get
She attacked me. I mean, I mean you, saw, you saw that, right? Did she? Hmm? No. I, I didn't. You see? It was the gun. See, she, she, she had a gun. She had a gun. It was self-defense. Hmm? You killed her. You killed her. No, no, no. Don't, don't fucking say that. Take it easy. Take it easy. I, I, I didn't do anything wrong, babe. I didn't do anything wrong. You're right. Victor, you're right. Why don't you give me the gun? Whoa, huh? just calm down. Let okay? me shut the fuck up and let me think. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Hi, right, go sit down, everybody. Victor, go sit down. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Was something the matter? No. Huh? No. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking That's at me like that? I'm not Why are you looking at me like that? Not... Why you think I did that? No, I didn't... You think I did this? I didn't that. fucking do this. I, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Shut the fuck up. Stop fucking crying. Let me think. All right, not a fucking word. Just leave her, she's fine. She's fucking fine. Alright, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Alright? We're gonna be fine. We just need to think for a little while. We just need to think. Okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to clean this up. We're going to get rid of the body and, the, and then we're all going to leave. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah? You know what doesn't make any sense? Opening a fucking door to a fucking stranger. Okay. I agree. I agree, all right? That was self-defense. We don't have to hide the body, all right? We can just tell the truth. We can just tell the cops what happened. No. No. No, we're, no, we're not going to tell anyone anything. I mean, I'm cleaning up your mess. Because you can keep your fucking bed. Get the fuck off her. Or fucking walk. Okay. Okay. Just let her go. Just let her go. Sit down. Hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Please. What do you want to do? We're going to clean this up. 
together. You and me. I'm sorry, Estelle. We're going to clean this up together. You and me. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now we're in this together, brother. You and me. But when it gets like that, I, I don't know what to do. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. You're gonna get away from him. Yes. No. He will fucking kill me. I won't let that happen. out of my life. Yeah, well, that makes two of us, okay? You don't understand. He's a fucking monster. I, I, I can't do it anymore. Look at me. The only thing we need to worry about right now is getting the hell out of this house, okay? You're stronger than he is. You can stop him. Are you out of your mind? Look, I'm not in the mood to get shot tonight because you can't break up with some abusive asshole. What do you think is going to happen when Victor finds out? You're just as fucked up as he is. You know that? You two belong together. At least he's not a coward like you. What's going on? I'm going to go check on Sarah, take a shower, then we're getting out of here.
whenever, whenever I'm around you, whenever I see you, I, I think about it. I can't think about it anymore. What do you want? Um... To escape. I think I... I think I have to do it alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I was you, I wouldn't want to be with me either. No. No, it's not. It's okay. I slept with someone else. It was with Estelle. I fucked up. I'm a piece of shit. I felt like what happened with us and the baby was my fault. I felt like it was me getting punished somehow. You're getting punished. That's probably what happened. Just told me. What? Tell her. I already fucking know. I don't give a fuck. What the hell's going on here? Oh, hey, sir. Welcome to the party. We're just talking about how you put your fucking dick in my fucking girl. Listen, the best thing we can all do right now is just get the hell out of here, Shut all right? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> After everything I did for you, babe. What, you're just gonna... You're just gonna fucking leave me here? Huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Victor. I told you to shut the fuck up! Sarah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't fucking talk to her! Hey, okay, okay, let's just, let's, let's, let's get out of here together. I will together fucking right end you, bitch! Let's each other ever again. She's right. That was the plan, right? Oh, uh, I know your plan, asshole. I know your plan, asshole. Look at me up! Did you feed me to the fucking dog so you and this bitch can live happily ever after? You're gonna kill us all? Then what? Then what? What is there to do? Don't fucking tell me what to do. I will fucking kill you right now. Okay? You can walk away right now, man. There's nothing. You didn't do anything yet, okay? You didn't do anything. Did you kill us? That's not good. Maybe you want to jail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I love you. I'm sorry. You love me? Really? You love me? Or are you just a little whore with the heart of gold, aren't you, huh? Fucking touch me! You're fucking done with you! You! Don't fucking touch me! <laughs> I'm fucking done with you. <laughs> Don't come near me. Or fucking what? Fucking
You all right? Yeah, sorry. Just a little freaked out. How about you? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are? I'm Estelle. Estelle and your friend. So you said there was someone inside refused to leave? Yeah. But she's gone now, so... You sure? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, what's with the lights? Power outage. It's happened twice tonight. Charstel, why don't you take a seat? Tell us what happened. You're gonna have to forgive us for the delay. Small town, you know, we came as quick as we could. Mm -hmm. Why don't you two walk us through what happened? Yeah, uh, so uh, earlier tonight, someone came. To... It was a break in. A break in? Mm -hmm. Well, how did they get in? It's she. She? It was a woman. We let her in by mistake. Let her in? I let her in. She had a car broken down and she asked if she could use the phone. So you let her walk in through the front door? Yeah. And then what? And then she attacked us. Yeah. Let's take it back a step. When the emergency call was made, the attacker was still in the house. I, I, made, I made the call. When is the question? Um, my boyfriend came in. Your boyfriend? And he surprised her. They started fighting. Him and this woman. And then I, I got away. Was she a, uh, a big woman? She average, yeah, average. Where is this boyfriend now? He's in the other room. Could you go and get him out? Yeah. Joseph, could you come out here, please? Officer... Sergeant Daniels. Sergeant Daniels and... Officer Ramirez. Officer Ramirez, they have questions about tonight. So should I just go get them? Well, hello there, sir. How you doing? Here he is, the hero. Yeah, this is Joseph, my boyfriend. So Mrs. Estelle tells us that you had an altercation of sorts and you were able to chase off your visitor. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, he scared her off. Uh, I'd like to hear it from him. Well, uh, like Estelle said, I, uh, I came out and uh, I saw what was happening and, and I, I charged her, you know. I didn't really know what else to do, so I thought that would, that would be the right thing to do. Um, and then we, we threw some punches. Punches? Well, I mean, not, not punches like boxing, but 
you know, we just yeah. rest. Yeah, no, and then I, I made the call, and then she ran off. Yeah. Three of you live here? We're visiting. We rented for the weekend. Toronto, huh? No kidding. It's nice. Thanks. Big old front. Uh, New York. Good. We have a. So. We. We have a long distance relationship. <laughs> well, where does that leave you? No, oh, Sarge. It uh. You guys are here in a romantic getaway type of thing, huh? <laughs> yes, modern times, buddy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just the three of you then, no one else. Just us? Yeah, just, just us three. I'm gonna have a word with my partner, will you excuse me? A second. <clears throat> Are you buying any of this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is the deal with these people? I think they're pretty fucking high. <laughs> do you think? That's just my guess, as a cop. So how do you want to play this? So, where did she go when she ran away, your, your attacker? Oh, um... There was an old car on the street that she got into. Did you get a good look at the vehicle? Uh, I'm not really a car guy, but it's an Oldsmobile, maybe. Brown, I think. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure now. Brown Oldsmobile? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like the one sitting outside right now? What? That's not yours? No. No. So nobody is aware of the vehicle that's parked out in front of this property right now? Go run the plates, could you? <laughs> yeah. Weapon down. Put the fucking weapon down now. Put the fucking gun down. Step away. You do not move. All right. You two, step over here. I'm 
I'm going to secure the perimeter of this house. You three will stay put. Can you do that for me, Sarah? Estelle! Yeah. Yes, sir.
sisters. There's no moral order. Just this. Can my violence conquer yours? I just want to go home. <laughs> go and look for the photograph. Would you please? I'll handle this. Thank you. Those guys can Fucking animals, you know. The owners of this house took a photo, and those two monsters killed them before they gave it to us. Now, I have a less dramatic approach. Here's what we're gonna do. One of you is gonna be more cooperative than the other. Are we on the same page? There's something about you. I just can't think. Do you want to know what it is? Would you like an example? Why did I find this man in your bedroom with a large poultry knife in his gut? Look at you. You look quite fond of him. And yet, your lover boy came to an unfortunate end in a brave attempt to save your life tonight. Right? <laughs> there, forgive me. Forgive me. Oh. 
Oh. I think we have a little friction here. Is that what we have? <clears throat> so where does that leave you? Before it's wild. Ah, see, see. One. No, 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 please. Two. No. <laughs> 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 oh my God, that's intense. <laughs> Estelle, how do you feel? <laughs> Are you learning your lesson, ladies? to know, so if either of you have anything to say, now would be the time. Figure it out.
I know where it is. How do I know you're telling the truth? I can show you. You can show me. <laughs> All right. So this is an interesting turn of events, huh? Estelle, guess we won't be needing you anymore. What? No, 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 don't hurt her. I'm going to show you. Please don't. No, 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 no. Crashed this place already, now where? It's in the enlarger. I'll show you. Okay, show me.